what we're going to do today is upgrade our Lyric fork with the new Debonair Air Spring. We're going to use the block in here because we will be removing the brake. So that's going to free everything up so that we can get our lower legs off without anything attached. I removed the air cap. We're going to let all of the air out of the fork. And I happen to know how much air was in my fork. If you don't, it's a good idea to record that prior to letting the air out. Okay, now we're gonna take a five mil and what we're gonna do is loosen these. And I'm gonna use this as an oil catch. But what we've gotta do is we've got to break this seal there. There we go. And there we go. So we should... drain out of these here as we tip the bike. There we go. So it can take quite a bit of force to remove those lower legs, but normally they're going to come off without too much difficulty. So I am going to use rubbing alcohol to spray down everything, the bottoms, the lower legs, the uppers, and clean everything up. Uh, I am going to be doing a 50 hour lower leg service. So I'm removing the old foam rings. I've got new foam rings here that I'm gonna be adding in. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we give a, gotta remove the retaining clip. There's a small little notch that if you can get that up underneath one side of the retaining clip, that's how you're going to be able to pinch it together. So let's push it down and then try and slide it underneath, which, okay, that worked out pretty easy. Squeeze our retaining clip. Good and squeezed. And let's get the screwdriver underneath there and pop that out. Beautiful. All right, so that's our retaining clip out. Now in order to get the actual air shaft out, we are gonna try to Give it a good pop. Apparently there was a little air left in there. So this is the new air shaft. We're gonna grease it up, grease it up, get it in there and start putting it back together. So I wonder if the slight difference in the length is how they're getting the lack of dip. One of the things that this is uh, supposed to improve upon is the little tiny bit of travel that you lose on a RockShox fork 
because it sits into the travel, usually five, maybe even 10 millimeters pre prior to sag. Now, there we had it. What's happening is got a good seal in there. So as I push it in, the little bit of air that's trapped in there is pushing back on me. There we go. All right, so releasing the air, pushing the shaft in. We were able to pop in there. Now we should be able to put the retaining ring back in without any issues. Retaining ring back in. And we are ready to get the lowers back on. So I've got the foam seals. I'm just going to slide those in. All right. So getting the lowers back on can be quite tricky. And usually really need to get them kind of on at the same time. And sometimes you just get super lucky. Now we've got to add our oil. All right, so what we're gonna do is just kind of squirt our oil in. back up get our brake back in place not going to tighten that down all the way right now because got to get the wheel and get it recentered And 80. So it's definitely sitting higher. Uh, the fork would normally sit down around this 10% mark. Um, and if I pull up on it, there's really no additional slack in there. So that's an improvement. We'll see how it rides.